Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Friday, right? It's Ferlici Friday. I'm Amy Ferlici and I'm so glad to be here with you guys today. It is a beautiful winter, cold, snowy, blustery day, but beautiful sunny day too. So I love that. So hopefully you guys are all doing well. Hey Jamie, thanks for joining us. Sorry, I know all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get on Facebook Live. It's like 11.30. So yes, I apologize. You guys are probably all like, where is she? So I'm here. Hello, welcome. Hi Sharon. So, so glad to be here with you guys today. Oh my goodness, we are gonna have some fun. We are playing with, this is the, what is this called? The Most Adored, hello Teresa, Celebration. It's a Celebration freebie designer series paper. So I'm gonna kind of flash up here, basically what I have left of my pack of paper, and I'll share this. Hello, Miss Stacy. how are you? Thanks for joining us. All right, so this is the Most Adored Celebration Designer Series paper. So you can see it's beautiful like gold foil on one side, and then we've got real red, and um, this is pretty, no, not, What's the color? Flirty Flamingo. All these different birds, right? Flirty Flamingo is the pink. So <clears throat> this is all I have left of this pattern. You guys are going to see it on one of the projects we're making. Hello, Miss Bonnie, and welcome. Um, this one is all I have left of the little... So these are hearts. They're sideways, so try not to like drop pieces, but you guys can see that pretty paper. And then there's the back side of that one, more gold foil on that one. Then we've got these. I love these hearts too. And I haven't, I used this side of the paper. I love that too, right? So all the gold foil accents, but I haven't used that one and I, I really want to. So we're gonna have to figure out something. And then this is pink, the flirty flamingo foil, just like the gold foil um, on another piece. And then there's the back side of that one. And then we've got two more. So more pretty hearts. I love, 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 love these. Thanks for the share too, Miss Bunny. And then back side of that one. And then the plaid. I'm all about the plaids. I love these plaids too. And then these are like little floating, actually, if we go that way, they're like floating hearts, right? So I'll show you guys if I remember. I'll show you guys those again when we flip the camera down. And I don't think they're really, are they backwards? I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're going to play with is that <clears throat> celebration most adored designer series papers. You can get that for free right now through February 29th, as long as supplies last. I would get it sooner than that though, because it's going to make some great Valentine's Day projects. But again, free with a $50 order now while supplies last through February 29th. We are also going to play with, these are my absolute, well, you can't even see them. And then they're like, Oh, I thought, okay, let's see. Will they stay on here? My most favorite, most adored, thoughtful expressions dies. Okay, you guys, these dies are awesome. I haven't even bought the stamp set yet. We've been laughing about this, but I had to have them. Hello, Kathy, and welcome. I had to have them because of these labels that are in here. So you can see that one keeps like flopping out, but there are four different of that shape. And then I think we've got one, two, three, I think that's six of that shape right there. So you guys are gonna see these dies in action today on the projects that we're gonna make. Again, they're called the Thoughtful Expressions dies. These are an absolute must have. What I know is there is, let's see if I get it going the right, <laughs> that's a hummingbird. I don't, I'm like trying to, it's upside down too, but you guys probably, maybe, is it upside down, inside out? I don't know, but it's a hummingbird stamp set. I haven't even bought the stamp set yet, but I knew I had to have these dies. So trying to decide if I need the stamp set, but obviously there's some other um, shapes in there that flowers and so on that you can cut out with the dies that are part of the thoughtful expression stamp set. But if nothing else, you got to have these dies. These are, they're little, they have like stitching too. I don't know, you probably can't see it, but I'll, I'll show you that. They've got cute little stitching around the edges. Plus they're just really cool shapes. So that's what we're going to play with. It's going to be awesome today. I'm very, very, can you tell I'm like bouncing off the walls? I actually didn't even really plan this, but I kind of have this is actually probably more of a moody mauve sweater is what I would say um, than a pretty, why do I keep saying pretty peacock? Flirty, it's the birds, right? Flirty flamingo is the pink that we're using today. Okay, so as I have mentioned, celebration is in full swing, right? If you don't have the celebration brochure or our new spring mini catalog, please let me know. I would love to get these sent out to you. As always, celebration is going on, at least for the last however many, I think 
Actually, what I heard is it's the thing that saved Stampin' Up. They shared this with us at one of our um, on-stage events or conventions or something, that, stamp, that Celebration was the thing that saved Stampin' Up like way back in the day when they were really um, like first starting out and struggling. Um, they decided, let's do this promotion. We're gonna offer a free item to get sales, basically, is what they needed. They needed sales, they needed income coming in, they needed to be able to pay their bills, which that was another really cool thing that they shared was, you know, they got they got behind on things, but they, um, and a lot of times this will happen, like when companies kind of get behind on things, because I think maybe you guys know this, I'm an accountant also, so I kind of live in a whole nother world sometimes too, but basically what they would do is, um, you know, they would pay for what they were ordering, and then they'd pay a little bit on their back you know payables that were due and they they shared with us so that they were able to pay all of their bills they got everybody paid off even you know the old ones that were kind of lagging out there for a while as a result of doing the celebration promotion so so many years I mean we're talking probably 30 35 years ago so this promotion has been going on for a very very long time obviously it's very near and dear to everyone at Stampin Up's heart because it basically, um, you know, saved the company, kept us going. We are now 35 plus years in the making. So help us continue to support Stampin' Up! and the love of paper crafting that we all have, right? Put your orders in, get free celebration stuff now through February 29th, okay? And again, like I said, if you need catalogs, please let me know, okay? Um, oh, also the other thing, and I mentioned this because we had our team meeting this week, um, <clears throat> Bonnie, you purchased that suite. Yes, it's a beautiful one, isn't it? Hi, Deb. Welcome, welcome. Um, what was I saying? Oh, we had our team meeting this week, too. And I shared with them because it's a little, um, I feel like it's a little bit buried in things. Hi, Philomena. Welcome, welcome. Um, so we've got the join promotion. We'll talk about that um, more in just a few minutes. But the host and earn side of celebration, um, I called it the sweet spot, the celebration sweet spot. So if you're so inclined, maybe you put a huge order in or maybe you gather friends and family and get orders together. But if you can put a 300, I know it's a Mac Daddy, put a $300 order in, you kind of hit that, what I'm calling the celebration sweet spot, um, because you get so much free stuff from Stampin' Up. So for example, typically, and Bonnie, thank you, or excuse me, Philomena, thank you for the share. Oh, I have like a weird ringing in my ear. Does that? No, maybe it was the heater. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm like, is that in my ear or just over there where the heater is? Like, I'm hearing, okay, sorry. I'm like, uh, okay, Ooh, focus, 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 right? Okay, host and earn, we're talking about, yeah, so normally... If you put a $300 order and you get host benefits, well, they actually start at a $150 order, but generally at a $300 order, you get 12% uh, percent in like host benefits, which comes out to 300, 12% is $36. During celebration, they actually throw in an additional $30 for free. So again, if you are able to put the Mac Daddy $300 order in, it's gotta be one full order, so $300 in product, you're gonna get at least $66 in free host product, and then you also get six free celebration items. So I shared that with our team because from like a demonstrator perspective we need to have at least $300 in sales each quarter to keep up our demonstrator status that's um, how we kind of reach our quarterly minimum hello Erica thanks for joining us um, so I was sharing basically put your Mac Daddy order in don't do like a few orders spread out if you can Put the one big order in because if you maximize those host benefits with the $66 in free stuff and then your six free celebration items. So I just wanted to make sure to mention that as well. Um, if you are also interested in another great deal though, we have the starter kit deal. You guys have seen me using my Stampin' Glass mat. Hello, Linda. Welcome, welcome. Um, yes, it's a fabulous tool. I have loved. I actually feel like I want two of them because I've got one on this so I have this big like six foot round table that I use in my craft room. On this side of the table, I'm doing my Facebook Lives. And on the other side of the table is where I actually sit and do all my creating and all of my work. 
Um, and so, you know, here I am, I'm like, oh, I need one for this side for my Facebook Lives and one for the other side where I actually do my work. So I have to like pick it up and walk all the way around the table, which is total silliness. But anyway, it kind of um, is one of those like, maybe I do need one more. So we'll see. But everyone needs one of these Stampin' Glass Mat Studios. I am just sure of it. So if you are not already a demonstrator and are thinking about getting the starter kit, now is the time to do it. It, right <laughs> yay so Stacy yes she just got the starter kit and so yes her stamp and glass mat studio is on its way in her starter kit to her so yes congratulations Miss Stacy for getting that starter kit getting the awesome awesome deal uh, so yes yeah, so she is gonna get the stamp and glass mat studio she also picked and I can't wait to hear what she picked right hundred and twenty five dollars in free product so $125 in free product, plus the Stampin' Glass Mat Studio, which I think is valued at like $60 or $65. You only pay $99 plus sales tax. So in Michigan, 6% sales tax brings that total to $104.94. So basically for $105, you get to pick $125 and stuff and get the Stampin' Glass Mat Studio. If for some reason you don't want or need the Stampin' Glass Mat Studio, that's all right. You get to pick $155 in product and again, pay only $99 plus sales tax. So either way, it's a great deal. They've got those two options for you, depending on whether you want the Stamp and Glass Mat Studio or not, right? And you get to become a part of our Inkspired Stampers team, which I'm going to share in just a little bit, all of the fun that we had at our team meeting this week. And we do those team meetings every single month. They're live here locally in Alma, but if you can't get to the team meeting here in Alma, we do a Facebook Live just like this. We do a Facebook Live for our team meetings. And anyone that is long distance or can't make it to the meeting, like Tuesday, actually, it's been super, super cold here in Michigan. Um, and so the and the roads, it was kind of snowy, just a little questionable. So um, I totally understand. Maybe you don't want to go out in that kind of weather and risk, you know, I don't know, traveling and having some kind of a problem. So pop right on Facebook Live and you can uh, be a part of our Inkspired Stampers team meeting right on there as well. We have a whole separate group too where um, we do separate sharing of, it's it's maybe, a, I don't want to say business mining because it's really not. Um, <clears throat> if you want it to be, certainly it can. I'm here for you to help you in any way that you need, but most of us are con are considered, we consider ourselves hobby demonstrators. That is absolutely what I started as as well. And then maybe you kind of roll into I don't know, doing classes or Facebook Lives or not. Or maybe you just keep up your demonstrator status all on your own by using that 20% discount and getting lots of fun stuff all for yourself. Or maybe you find others um, in your in your group, in your community, in your neighborhood, at work, wherever, that might want to order through as you as well and help you keep up your demonstrator status. So lots of different ways you can do that. And I'm here to support any one of those ways that is of interest to you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, because there, you know, there there are always questions like how does it work. Um, basically, the one thing to know is it's like a no risk opportunity. You can buy the starter kit; and you don't have to do another thing with it. I don't know why you wouldn't, because you get that twenty percent discount on everything that you order after that. But truly, like nothing happens if you don't put another order in. You're a demonstrator for a little while, and then your demonstrator status will drop if you don't meet that three hundred dollar quarterly minimum. But that's it; nothing else happens. Um, there are lots of um, kind of info to keep you engaged and interested and motivated um, but it's totally up to you what you do with it so thanks for sharing the de uh, video Deb appreciate that okay um let's see I think let's well okay so actually so Stacy my friend Stacy my good friend Stacy she is a friend of mine from way back in the day from our University of Michigan day so she was super excited right about our national have we even talked about that have we had We've had we had Facebook Live, haven't we, since we won the national championship? I don't know. We can talk about it again, even if if we didn't talk about it before. But yes, Miss Stacy is a good friend of mine from college, basically, so many, many years ago. And we lived in Chicago together, too. So she was my roommate for a number of years when we lived in Chicago, too. So she got into um, this whole paper crafting thing um, a number of years ago. And so actually, she and a couple of other good friends are coming up for our girls' craft rama weekend that's next weekend we're going to be doing that so we'll get to have we'll take over my house and turn it into like crafting palace for the weekend so that's always fun right to get together with your friends and do that so very excited about that 
right? And then also I want to give a huge warm welcome and congratulations to Donna Fleisch Hacker Porter, who also bought the starter kit through, through our Inkspired Stampers group. She just took advantage of that awesome starter kit deal as well. So again, if anybody else is interested, please let me know. Okay, I think um, we are ready <clears throat> to do our first drawing. And where did, I made myself a note because even I was like, what all do you get? I think I can do it though. Get entries into this basket, into this drawing right here. Okay, we are gonna draw for it. And I love these, I love, love, love these. These are the rainbow adhesive back dots. This, these are what we're gonna give away today. So your name is in here as always, if you share this Facebook Live video or the last one, right? Your name is in here. If you share to a crafting group you're a part of, you get five entries into the drawing. Also, if you sign up for my email list, your name is in the drawing. If you share a project, a picture of a project that you've made right here to our Facebook group, I went through all of the posts from our last Facebook Live to now, and anybody that shared a picture of a project, your name is in here. And then as well, I picked one random post that I created on this Facebook group. And if you commented on that particular post, your name is in here. So the idea is, I love your shares. I love your comments. Um, I love for you to interact and be a part of our group. And you get rewarded by getting your name in here, right? To win, just like Linda says, she loves these dots, right? Me too. I have had so much fun. And I think we're probably I'm trying to remember. Now, I can't even quite remember, but I think we might have those. Maybe, they might be on the projects that we're working on. You know, I made those like yesterday morning and I can't even, <laughs> I can't even quite remember. There's a lot that's happened between yesterday and today, you know, you know how that happens? Okay, so here we go. We are drawing for the rainbow dots and we have a one lucky winner, one paper in my hand, Miss Vina Gomez. She's such a good sharer and commenter too. So Vina, I'm sure has her name in here a number of times for sharing the Facebook Live video and for commenting. It might have been the post, right, that I, my random post, she commented on that. I can't remember which way she got her name in here. But anyway, Miss Vina, congratulations. Hi, Nikki, hello and welcome. Um, so yeah, Vina, I will get those uh, sent out to you, those cute little dots. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which is actually gonna be next Friday, we're gonna go two weeks in a row. Can you believe it? We are gonna give away, these are another super cute. These are the adhesive backed hearts and flowers. So let's open these up. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we're using these. Um, we might've used them last week too, because I've been having lots of fun with them. But there are the little, the hearts. What are they? Yes, the hearts and the flowers, because that's what I'm seeing here. Yep, so there we go. Hearts and flowers in a number of colors, right? So I don't know. I'm going to say maybe Sweet Sorbet, Petal Pink, Daffodil Delight, and uh, Pool Party. Those are my guesses. Don't quote, don't, don't hold me to it for sure. Hello, Miss Amy. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so that's what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. Share this video, one entry. Share it to a crafting group you're a part of, five entries. Sign up for my email list, you get an entry in the drawing for these. Uh, post a picture of a project that you've made right here to our Facebook group, you get another entry. And I'm gonna pick one random post, and if you commented on that post, from our Facebook group, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win these. So yes, hello, Miss Pam. She says, can't believe I caught you live. Hello from North Carolina. Yes, welcome, welcome from North Carolina. I'm so glad you caught us live too, Miss Pam. Okay, all right, we're gonna scoot those over there. Oh my goodness, let's see. What else do we have going on? <clears throat> oh, let's do this. Let me share, okay, hold on. I'm in my organizing mode. I'm gonna move this stuff over here so I don't get too mixed up on things, okay? Oop. All right, I wanna show you guys all the fun that we have at our team meetings because I want you to buy that starter kit through me or through anybody in my Inkspired Stampers team. Mary, hello and welcome. How are you doing? I know you've had kind of a rough road with surgery a while ago, so hopefully you're back on track now, right? Um, okay, so yes. Buy the starter kit through me or any one of my expired Stampers team members and look at all the fun you can have at our team meeting. And again, if you are long distance or if you can't make it to the meeting, 
you can catch us on a Facebook Live for our team meetings. And then also, for example, the make and takes that I'm going to share with you, I'll mail those out to you. You can still participate in the make and takes. You can participate in swapping also. So long distance team members will put a card together. They'll make one card. Well, they'll design one card and they'll make like 10 of them, mail them to me. I swap them around with everyone that's swapping at our team meeting and then I mail them back to you so you can participate in everything that we do, right? Okay, so let me share with you. Um, let's do the make and takes first. Okay, so they feature, I think it's the cutest cows bundle. I can't even remember the name of it, but the cards are super duper cute. So this is one of them. We've got this, holy cow, congratulations with those cute little cows. Aren't they? They're so sweet, right? We did some sponging too on that one. You can see kind of the clouds. So we just did a mask, right? So you took a cloud punch and laid it on your card and then you just kind of sponged around it. So I don't know if you can kind of see that, right? So that was one of our make and takes. Then this is kind of a cute little treat holder, a little cow tail treat holder, right? With one of those um, yummy little treats in there. Then we also made this cute little card too. And this one says, it's your special day. Look at the cute little cow there. And so also they get a half a bolt. In this case, they got a half a bolt of the black and white gingham ribbon. And then also um, a partial package of the dots, the celebration dots. So this is kind of a fun little fun fold, right? So this one says, holy cow, it's your special day. So holy cow, it's your special day. And then that one right there. And so for example, I do all of, I can't do the stamping, but I do all of the die cutting for them. So I would have die cut and Lily would have helped me if she were here, but she's not here anymore. So I have to do all this by myself, uh, which you can see I don't really love, right? So um, yeah, so like that tag right there and then that one on the inside, give you the dots, give you the ribbon. In this case, um, I actually, there's this piece is embossed. You can barely see that right there probably. Um, but yeah, I do everything that I can for you. I just can't do the stamping. Um, but any die cutting that I can do, I do that for you too. So again, those were the four cute make and take cards um, from our team meeting this month. We do cute projects, I promise, every single month at our team meetings. Then we also, let's see what else. Oh, I want to show you. Um, <clears throat> This was our mystery project. So this is something else that we fun, we that we do for fun at the team meeting. So um, like a couple days before our team meeting, I'll post kind of measurements for a project that I am working on. And then we'll actually kind of um, solve the mystery show, the mystery project that night at our team meeting. Um, so I would have given kind of all of the ex um, measurements for how to like cut and fold for this card and then they actually bring and I don't tell them what paper or stamp set or anything I kind of keep it general um, they do their cutting and then bring everything they need to make the card hello Mr. Mike how are you um, so looking forward to seeing you later this afternoon it's beautiful and sunny here too so hopefully the roads are going to be good driving down to Detroit today hoping hoping fingers crossed um, yes yeah, so this card um, we basically make it at the team meeting and everybody puts it together and so it's kind of that whole like, oh, this is what you were trying to create, right? And you will see this. I actually loved this layout so much that we're going to make this card. So if you're curious on how to make this card, you're going to learn exactly how to make this, not this exact one, um, but the layout of it. You'll learn how to make this um, in just a little bit um, when we when we do our projects for Facebook Live. So I'm actually going to put that right over there to kind of remind me to share that again. But that's a fun, every single month we have like a new, and they're generally kind of a fun fold or something. Um, but love that part of things too, where everybody's kind of crafting and creating together at our team meeting. I also love to recognize my top sellers each month. So for example, in January, we recognized our top five sellers for the month of December. And so then I make a cute card and send them out to say congratulations. So this was the beautiful card, I guess I would say, because not because I did anything special with it, but because the paper is beautiful, right? So this is that some of that lavender designer series paper with the postage stamp set and punch that says you're simply marvelous with some of those purple dots on there too. They also, if they make it into the $600 club, they get a prize, which this month were the purple fine shimmer gems that you can see on that card right there. So anybody that sold over $600 in the month also gets a package of these little gems. It's different every single month. It's a surprise also. So I'll mail them out to you if you're long distance, you get a little congratulations card. And then I pop those gems right in there for you too. 
then it gets even better, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, we do our swapping. So let's kind of keep with this theme. So team members put cards together and we all come together at the meeting and then we swap these cards. So this is a beautiful card also featuring that lavender suite. This is Teresa Hinchman's swap card and hers says, sending love and best wishes. And this totally makes me want to get this stamp set. And then actually there's that big postage die right on there too. So it comes with, I'll have to show you guys because I do have those right here. So these are the postage dies if you haven't seen those. <laughs> yes, purple, the purple gems Linda's saying are her all-time favorite. It's her favorite color. Yes, they are beautiful too, right? So let me, I'll show you those again because I don't know. You can, you can probably barely see, but they're actually three different colors. So there's like a lighter purple. So I'm going to say maybe Highland Heather Gorgeous grape, and then it's funny because this looks like rich raspberry. We don't even have that color anymore, so maybe it's um, what's that color now? Blackberry Bliss. They say in the catalog, I'm sure, but it is three different colors, just slightly different tones of purple. But they are beautiful. I agree, ladies. And let's see. Nope, I don't think Teresa did use, but she did show great um, like examples. Like there's a post postage stamp punch or die. There's a die, and there's a die. And then that big one is a die. And then she actually put one of these or maybe even the next smaller size on the inside of the card too. So that was a super cute swap card. Then let's see, what else do we have? Oh, the bear, the super cute. The, the, now this is an online exclusive, right? But it's so cute. So this is from Elsie Lynch. She created this one. So she used the cute little, why am I drawing a blank? It's fluffiest friends. Those dot, the stamp and die set along with that B suite. So that one's super cute too, right? Then we've got Miss Sharon did this one right here with the, that's the new um, watermelon stamp set from the celebration offering, right? With a cute little wishing you the happiest of birthdays with that. I think that's from the Charming Sentiments stamp set and dies also. Then we have another B card. This one is from Miss Charlene Mogg right here. So cute. Hello, Trish. So we've got You'll Always Be, Be, the one for me, right? Uh, happy Valentine's Day. And then she did some little stamping of her hearts on the inside there too. So Trish, if you're ever interested, she's one of our team members. You could do swaps as well. If you mail, make them, mail them to me. I swap them out with everybody and I'll mail them back to you. Um, I showed the meeting make and takes too. If you're ever interested, love to get the make and takes um, put together for you too. So um, this one is from Jenny Boffman and she used more of that beautiful lavender suite. We've got wishing you everything wonderful. And then some of that beautiful that's that really wide I'm gonna say it's maybe five eighths of an inch um white ribbon she made a pretty bow there too and then oh she did do some stamping because I, I wasn't even sure if she did um did a little stamping on the inside there too and then this one is from Miss Sunday Ostrander so she loves to use she's been totally into this the memories and more um, cards. So there's a card pack, right? So that's a card base right there. You can see, and then the envelope, aren't those so cute? I'm going to have to check those out too. Cause she said, um, these were ones that she was like, I wasn't totally sure about them in the beginning. Um, but yeah, all she did was, so let's see. Yes. I'm going to look at this a little bit more closely. This is the card base. Then she basically added two of, so what am I, what am I trying to say? There's a memories and more note cards and envelopes. So that's what these are, right? With the card base. And then there's a card pack. So this one is like a four by six card. So that beautiful floral piece. And then this one is a three by four card. So she just layered those two cards right on that um, card base right there. And then you get the super cute uh, coordinating envelope. Aren't those awesome? So love that, that she's kind of showing us, sharing something um, different with us. That kind of reminds me too, I don't know that I was going to mention, but just know this. So Memories and More is kind of like a kit, basically, because they, you know, she didn't even do any stamping here. This is already all done for you on the cards. Um, so great, simple way to make cute projects. Hello, Charlene. Um, another thing to know is that the kits, the kit collection, it's all online. Now, I don't think they really, they kind of have like maybe like a little blip about it in the catalogs, but for the most part, you are you have to look online to see what kits are available, but they're, they're offering two kits now, two new kits every single month. They're all only available while supplies last. That's why they're not showing them in the catalog because when if one is super popular and they sell out, then, then they're on their way. Um, 
But just know that there are lots and lots of cute kits out there too. So if you ever get overwhelmed with like, oh, I don't know how to like get started or if you wanna share it with a new friend, maybe you're a demonstrator and you wanna to try to get some more sales from maybe a new friend or something or they're interested and they're not sure where to get started, kits are a great way to get started. So basically if you go to stampinup.com, hello, Teresa, um, and then just look for kits in the kits collection, they'll give you lots and lots of great ideas. And again, two new kits being offered every Every single month now so I think that's great as well and I think so I want to peek but I'm pretty sure Sharon just posted let's see did she do a little research for us here okay she did she do it again no nope. okay let's see right so we've got okay berry burst okay so that's probably this one berry burst gorgeous grape and highland heather those are the colors of the gems that are in here so I had two out of three these are berry burst instead of uh, blackberry bliss that was pretty close anyway, right? All those names, they're like little tongue twisters after a while anyway. Okay, um, let's see, let's see. I think, yeah, let's see what else. Okay, wait, hold on. I should scroll this back up. Sorry, I know my thumb's probably on things. I want to make sure. Hello, Danielle. Welcome. There, now I'm back on track. I know who's here. So I don't get mixed up on things. Okay, so. All right, just want to do a quick reminder that we're playing bingo. It's in, a, I don't know, a few weeks. Thursday, February 22nd, right here in Alma. Love to have you join us. Starts at 6 o'clock um, on Thursday, again, February 22nd. If you want to play bingo, stamping and bingo. We make cute cars and we play bingo. And prizes during, for bingo are product. So we'll have some awesome celebration and mini catalog product available on Thursday, February 22nd at bingo. Okay. Um, also, oh, I forgot to bring one over, but you guys have seen me like talking about these, haven't you? I feel like a bunch of times. Uh, designer series paper shares. I have two left. So if anybody's interested, a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in our spring mini catalog. And I got you all five packs of celebration designer series paper too. Um, free, free, free. All those are free. So $43 gets you a sample, a quarter of a pack of all 13 packs of designer series paper. Again, I have two left. So comment right here, email me, text me, whatever. Get a hold of me somehow. The first two people to do that get these last two paper shares. Okay. All right. Um, 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 what else? Oh, just a quick mention. Um, I've been posting, I think. If not, I'm going to. <laughs> yes, you'll be getting your paper share at Craft O Rama next one week from today. Yes, woo, woo, woo. We'll be having our fun Craft O Rama time together. Um, let's see. Okay, we talked about that. We talked about that. We talked about that. Okay, so celebration, celebration. I always, this is my one of my favorite things to do basically to say thank you for your support of my Stampin' Up! business, especially during celebration. You get free stuff too, so why not do this, right? So you can earn your spot at the celebration celebration event, which is basically a huge thank you party. Um, these are how you earn your spot into this event, and you can only earn it. You can't like, you can't buy, well, let's see. Yeah, you can't, the only way you can do it is earn it, basically. So the first way is to hold your own private celebration party or class. Basically, just find people that you want to craft with. Uh, let me know who they are and I do the rest for you. We have dates available still. We've got through the end of February to qualify in that way. If you buy the starter kit, you earn your spot at Celebration Celebration. Or the third way is if you spend at least $150 during Celebration, which is easy to do because you would get three free Celebration items also. So those three ways, you earn your spot at Celebration Celebration. Again, an awesome party to say thank you. Haven't picked the date quite yet. I thought I had a date, but now the church isn't available. So now I got to kind of regroup and figure things out. So I'm working on the date, but it's, it'll be March, April timeframe is what we're looking at. Um, okay. Boy, I do have my water here. I think I'm ready for a drink. And I think, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do our next drawing after I take my drink here. Because <laughs> I have more good stuff to share with you guys, but I want to flip the camera down because I think that'll be a better way to show you my swaps. I have my swaps to show you guys. Right. Let's see. Okay. So yes okay we are ready okay so yeah I'm like sighing because I don't have the stamp set yet it's going to be here this weekend uh, but the painted lavender stamp set is what we're drawing for okay so if you 
ordered online through me using the host code that I'll give you in just a little bit and the host code that's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Your name is in the drawing to win the painted lavender stamp set. So that's that beautiful, did I scoot it way over here? But I wanna show you guys. So you could make Teresa's spot card right here with there. Okay, there's the glare, yep. So can you see it, right? <clears throat> there. So one lucky winner is gonna be able to get this stamp set and maybe make case, right? Uh, Teresa's swap card there. Okay, so let's see, where is that? Down here, okay. Oh, <laughs> the bending over is tough some days. Okay, all right, shake it around. And you guys, I have to, I'm like laughing. There are two names in here, okay? So your chances are really, these ladies have a 50-50 chance of winning this stamp set, okay? So, all right, not lots of orders. You guys know this, right? I'm like, I, I would love to have like a whole basket full of names in here, right? Maybe someday. Anyway, but your chances are really good at this point. So do it before I get really big, okay? Put your orders in now because your chances are so good of winning, right? Okay. All right, here we go. One lucky winner, and it is Miss Judy Doyle. All right, congratulations, Judy. Well, I just moved that over there. Sorry, I'm not gonna, you, you win the painted lavender stamp set. So Judy, thank you so much for your order, and I will get this sent out to you. The stamp set, anyway, right? Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which is one week from tomorrow, so that, or one week from today, excuse me, uh, next Friday, January 26th, we will give away this is the gorgeous Meandering Meadows Designer Series paper. I think I showed this to you guys, but it's funny because then I was like, I couldn't find my pack of paper that was already open. So sorry, whoever wins this, I already opened your paper, but I had to because I want you guys to see. I'm going to show you each of the patterns. So here's one side, and then the other side is kind of like a watercolor washy. Like that one's kind of a wood green almost. I'm trying to get each. So you get one, two... You get four sheets of each of, look at that, look at this meadow. I know I've shown you guys this. I don't know where it went though. <laughs> and then there's the back side of that one. So lots of different meadows. Look at, I love the pretty pinks, right? Makes you, I feel like it's somewhere in Europe. It's in Italy somewhere. These are all based off of, I don't know, Italian meadows. Maybe French meadows too, who knows, right? There's the back side of that one. So again, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win this designer series paper if you put an order in online through me. Oh, I love those blues too, right? At least $50 order gets your name in the drawing. We have more, you guys, I haven't even showed you all of these, aren't these? Oh my gosh, I need to order another pack of this. I haven't even played with this yet. It is absolutely beautiful. It's funny because I was like, gosh, I ordered this a little bit ago because you guys know, right? So online exclusives, these are things that are online. Reconnect. Okay, boop, boop, boop. There we go. There's the back side of that one. Um, you can only get them online, right? So make sure if ever you're like, oh, I have everything I need, check out the online exclusives because you never know. You might not really have everything that you need. Or if there's something that you're looking for that you're like, geez, I'm not seeing that in the catalog. Maybe there's an online exclusive item that you you know, that you're not seeing in the catalog. So know that, right? So one lucky winner will get this pack of designer series paper as a thank you for their order online through me. Okay, um, I think we are ready. We're gonna flip the camera down. Okay, so turn your heads away. We're gonna fly through the air. I am going to find my host code because I think I kind of neglected to show you guys that. And this, my little stand thingy, it's like, Something got kind of loosened up and it, so I'm so afraid it's just going to all of a sudden go clunk like, um, but I think we're good right now. Okay, so let's see. You know, oh shoot, you know what I forgot to show you guys? There, okay, that, that's going to be all right. I forgot to show you guys this cute bag that Sharon made. I had this out to show you guys, but I'll show you right now. So Sharon Greening, one of our Inspired Stampers team members, made, and she actually showed us how to make this. Where are my glasses now? I can put these on now that you guys can't see me. Um, so yeah, she showed us how to make this bag at our team meeting this week on Tuesday. So it's basically, this is some of that, is it the Flight and Airy? I think it is the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. And I had to, she she made the bag and I was like, oh, you could. we need little handles on it. So I punched holes and then put some of that, um, uh, what is it? The Misty Moonlight, I think, is that it? The 
Is that the name of it? Now I gotta look it up. Yeah, it's misty moonlight. Somehow that didn't sound right, but yeah, matches the bird there, right? Some of that misty moonlight and white braided ribbon had to basically punch holes, put little knots, and then, and so I think, yeah, um, be careful, because I, I was thinking, you know what, you almost need to like put a little something around there to kind of reinforce it maybe, um, but I just think it's so cute. So basically, she showed us, it's super simple. This is a piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper, and you score it on two inches, at three out of the four sides of designer series paper. So, cause yeah, so this should come out to be eight inches. Yep, so you score it two inches here, two inches here, and two inches here. And then you just fold it in. Um, she kind of cut off a couple at the bottom just to kind of make the folds nice and easy. But then you, and you do that twice, right? So 12 inches score two, two, and two fold them in and then basically they fit together. If you can kind of see the seam right here, Oh, good. I'm glad you like the handle, Sharon. I did too. I thought they were like perfect. That pretty blue and even the braiding. It's funny because this has been a ribbon that I haven't quite known what to do with, but this is the perfect thing right here because um, it, maybe it's a little bit harder to tie a bow, which it's really soft, so it's not, but maybe it's because it's only one-sided. And so I don't like it when you see like the side that doesn't have the braiding. Uh, but this I think is perfect, right? Okay. So yeah, so basically score two inches on all three sides and then you just fit it in. She used uh, like tear and tape to kind of put the sides in. And then it all substantial there too when you use, um, when you keep you know, the full flaps all the way around there too. So yeah, beautiful. But she wanted me, she was very gracious enough to give this to me and said, you can show it on Facebook Live. So I love this, Sharon. Beautiful. So perfect gift bag, good size too. Lots of room for things in there. Okay, so now I want to show you guys my swap cards. Oh my goodness. So we'll just kind of flip through these. This is more of, am I going to try to share... I didn't organize them at all. I probably should have. But yeah, well, Flight and Airy. This is the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. You can see the pretty birdie. This one is from Karen Braxton. Um, oh, this is cute, right? A fun little crocodile. Oops, we're going to go right there so you can see a little bit better. Happy birthday. This is from Kim Allen. So many beautiful. These are all Stampin' Up! Trip Achievers. Um, so anybody that's on our Trip Achiever Facebook group um, is able to participate in this swap. And they always do such good work. We've got a little thank you, Dad. That one's cute from Lori Kraus. And then this is another fun one, another with that um, Toolbox Designer Series paper. I did have to pull this out so you guys can see because I think that's really cool, right? How this thing, Dad, you're the most awesome. Happy Father's Day. Oops, there. Did, could you guys see that? Dad, right? I'm so busy looking at it, I don't pay attention to whether you guys can see. Isn't that cool, though? Really like that one. That one is from Mary Kate Scott, okay? Next one, and anybody that came to class or our celebration kickoff event is going to recognize this. Totally case this card. I think I did a sympathy on ours, though, but more of that um, Flight and Airy Designer Series paper from Monica Giberti. Love her. She's so sweet. This is another beautiful one. I love, what is that? That's one of the <clears throat> $100 items, the Softly Sophisticated stamp set and then the Softly Sophisticated um, embossing folder, if you guys can see that, right? And then one of those new dies, the Thoughtful Expression dies. And this is kind of like I got my swaps and I was like, where is that die? So I immediately had to run right out and get that die afterwards. And the little butterflies too, super cute, right? Here's another. So the flight and airy, that's definitely a very popular one. And look at how she, I don't know if she, I feel like she might have fussy cut that. I'm not exactly sure. And then we've got that, the you're in my thoughts. Oh, that one is from Dawn Bourget. Yes, which I think maybe we figured out it was die cut, or um, no, not die cut. She fussy cut it. This is a cute little hello, which now I'm curious because I feel like this one is from Rhonda Bassler, but I feel like maybe there might be some kind of a fun fold happening here. Oh, it's one of these. I do like these. Hello, love you more. Ooh, we might have to try that, ladies. So that's a simple, basically it's a kind of a long or tall card and then she just scores it from kind of corner to corner and then it just stands up like that. Oh, all right, you might be seeing that on a future Facebook Live. Love getting those ideas from these super crafty, creative ladies. This is a beautiful one too, right? The 
you're in my thoughts, from Laura Barto. <coughs> this is another one. So this is one we made very similar to this, again, at our card class last week and the celebration kickoff event. So this features that most adored designer series paper, right, with the gold and white swirl and then the red um, hearts on there, the real red hearts on there. Oh, and this one is from Holly Sutton Batla. That was a cute one, too. Okay, next we have this beautiful, this thank you card, right? This one is from Carrie Todd. I love that. Is that softly stippled designer series paper? And then some of the, um, what are those? The circle, the circle dies. Why can't I not? The deckled, deckled circles. And then how about this one, right? This one is... I don't have this one yet, but the Cradled in Love stamp set, Celebration stamp set. And also, you guys, I totally missed this ribbon. There is Pool Party Crinkle Ribbon. It's a wide, 5 8 inch wide ribbon. When I got this, I was like, where is that ribbon? I have never seen that. Totally missed it in the catalog. So know that. Be careful of that, right? There's the paper, the ribbon, and then the um, stamp set all on that one page. Isn't that so cute? And this one is from Janice Waitman. So beautiful swaps, lots of great ideas. Again, all of these cards were made using product from the Celebration brochure. Okay, are you guys ready to do some stamping? I am totally ready to do some stamping, ladies. Okay, actually, while I get myself organized here, I'm gonna show you the host code. So just so you have this, this is our host code for the month, right? Make sure you use that if you order online, which again, I truly appreciate your orders. I know you have a choice of demonstrators and I do, like I say over and over, truly appreciate you choosing me as your demonstrator. Okay, so here's our first card. So this was the mystery project that I showed you earlier. You can see it doesn't lay quite flat that way, but when you fold it up, it literally is four and a quarter by five and a half, the standard size of our card that fits in our envelope. So I decided to make a Valentine's Day card with it, right? So same idea where this folds down, it'll fit right inside your envelope. So let me show you guys how we're gonna make that card. Okay, let's see, maybe I'll put this thing over here. And do I need that? I keep having to bend over. I don't know if you guys hear me creaking. <laughs> Okay, and again, we're gonna use our Thoughtful Expression dies. Okay, let's see, we'll put our ink in our little holder spot. There we go. Okay, so let me tell you, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna give you all measurements. You guys know this, right? I'm gonna put all of the measurements, the colors, the item codes, the names of everything, so that you can order and recreate these projects on your own. Um, they'll be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Okay, so we have a piece of real red cardstock that measures eight and a half by five and a half. So it was a full, right? It's not gonna fold down quite right, but here was a full sheet of cardstock, okay? So eight and a half by 11, along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at one inch, two inch, and five and a quarter inches. Again, all this is gonna be on my blog in case you miss any of it, all right? Then we have another piece of real red cardstock. This one measures two and a half by five and a half, and we're gonna score it at four and a quarter inches. So that is that piece right on there, <laughs> okay? Next, we have designer series paper. This one measures five and one quarter by three inches, and that's gonna go right inside there. You'll see that again a little bit better in a sec. Then we've got this one, five and a quarter by three quarters of an inch, and that's gonna go right on there. Then we have this piece of designer series paper that goes on that other flap, two and a quarter by four. That's gonna go right on there, okay? Then I just have some extra pieces of real, wet, real red, basic white, and flirty flamingo to do our stamping and die cutting. So I'm gonna do that stamping first. 
So let's do that. Oh, I want to show you guys. I'm using the Be My Valentine stamp set. We've got your Happy Valentine's Day right there. Such a cute stamp set. Have a loved, oops, actually, I've already got that all ready to go. So we're going to use our Real Red ink, the beauty of Stampin' Up, right? Real Red ink, Real Red cardstock. Everything coordinates so beautifully. Okay, here we go. We're going to do... Our nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're going to press straight down and lift straight up. And I think that was the only stamping we did on this one. So I'm going to actually scoot that over there. Okay, so now let's do, actually, you know what I want to do? I'm going to clean this real quick because I'm going to assume we're not going to have any trouble. Yes, it's a good fancy fold, Philomena. I, I like it too. Okay, if we put that there. All right, so I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine. Okay. All right. So we are going to, let's see if we can, maybe we can do all of these things here. Let's see if we can do this one and this one, because then I've got a couple of, I wanna do some hearts. I'm gonna see if we can do those too. Okay, so we're gonna start with our, Thoughtful Expressions dies. We're going to use the second and third, well, third and fourth. They're the middle two, right? Either largest or smallest, whichever way you look at it. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. And then we are also, where'd they go? Hiding, but not. Okay, so these are the Give It a Whirl dies. I have loved these dies. Still have never made like a spinny card, but the hearts, I use the little, the hearts, this little stitched hearts all the time. And I forget about that one too. That's a good label right there. Okay, so we're gonna do a big flirty flamingo and a smaller real red. So the only thing I need to do is just make sure, and I actually think I did a pretty good job there. Okay, all right, so we're gonna crank these babies through. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, so I'm so excited to show this to you guys. Okay, can you see the stitching? I get the right. There we go. I think you guys can see it, right? So such a cute shape, and I love that stitching. Okay, and then let's see this one too. Okay, there. I think you can see the stitching a little bit better on the white, right? Awesome. And then more stitching on the hearts too. These are so cute also. So we've got our little hearts with the stitching on them too. Okay, all right. Let's just scoot all of this stuff right out of the way. That and that. Okay, so I think we're good. These things go there. All right, so you can see. It doesn't take much, ladies, to make. So we're all like, we're all ready to go. Everything is cut and stamped and ready to make this super cute, fun fold, but not difficult, right? It doesn't take much is what I'm saying to make cute, cute cards. So if you can see how I'm folding. So that all folds up nicely, right? There we go. That's what we're doing with that, right? Okay, so we're going to, actually I'm gonna grab, because the one thing I realize is I don't like to get um, glue. I don't like getting adhesive on my glass mat. You can get it off. I mean, it will come right off, but I just don't like it. So I try to avoid it if I can. So I use my little silicone mat, great work surface to lay your cardstock down on. Okay, so these two pieces of designer series paper, we've got the one going on the very bottom. We're skipping that because that's kind of going on the inside. I'm trying to make sure I've got my plaids lined up, which they are. So that's good there, right? Next, we are going to do this extra little flap. Gonna add our designer series paper there. We are, let's do that one that way. Okay, now what I found is it's easiest. We're gonna do that one right here. So we are going to just put this down right along the bottom here. Okay, so that's good there. Then we're gonna flip this over. Let's just do that. And I want just kind of along the top because just this little bit 
along the top is what is going to, let's see that, so you guys can see, right? I'm so busy like trying to make sure I'm doing it right. So that kind of folds, it's like, I don't know, I'm calling it a stair step, I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is, but this little bit is just gonna go right on the back there. We're gonna press really firmly to get that down. But again, the idea is that it goes flat like that so you can put it in your envelope. And then it stands up like that. <laughs> Yes, Stace, you do need those dies. I know. I'm telling you, they're the best. They're the best label dies in the new mini catalog. And Philomena, you're right. The like the basics, the silicone mat and the chamois, just the simple. They're like boring, right? But they make your whole crafting experience so much better. I agree. Just having those simple basic things. So I'm trying. I'm realizing maybe I kind of stamped this funny, or I maybe I die cut it. We'll see. It's going to be okay, but I'm trying to get the those things lined up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. You're, you're not going to notice once I put it on the card, there's going to be enough going on that if it's a little like off kilter, it's okay. Right. So let's see. And these things, apparently I've, oh my God, I'm a little bit of a hot mess. I'm trying to get them kind of, I don't want to get them over on this side because you can see like, um, there we go. Yeah. They, they won't stick. Okay, so we're going to put one there and one there. Let's see if I, can I get these? <laughs> I don't, it was the very beginning of, so there, that one's already lost its little thingy. I don't know. I, maybe it's hard in the very beginning, right, to, to get them. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. I don't have any excuses anymore, ladies. Okay, so there. Oh, my point was I didn't want to put dimensionals too far over here because I don't want it to stick to that piece. I only want it to stick to that part right there, right? Okay, so next we are going to put our little hearts right on here. Okay, so we've got one, one little heart there, one little heart there, adding those. Okay, now we need... Um, some little extras. So we're using the Baker's Twine three color pack. I have used this Baker's Twine more in the last couple of weeks. Oh, okay. He's stormy. Maybe there's somebody here. I don't know. <laughs> Boy, if you were like falling asleep before, you are awake now. He does that. Sometimes I literally scream because I'm so into what I'm doing and concentrating and I'm like, oh my, he like startles me so much. So yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make a double bow. If I wasn't, was I saying this yet or not? But yeah, so basically I'm just uh, kind of folding this over, acting like I've got one piece of twine instead of two. And just make your loop big enough so that you've got enough room to put that piece through the loop there. And then you can kind of pull on thing. Thank you, Trish. I'm glad you like this card also. Yeah, so I showed how to make it the other night, this was, like I said, our um, mystery project at our team meeting as well. So if you were able to join us live for our team meeting, you would have seen, although I didn't do all of this, um, all this extra detail, I don't think. I was like, okay, this is what you would do. You'd tie this little double bow and... Then we're going to add some gems too. Okay, so this is all I have left of two packs of <laughs> the blue. These are the blooming pearls that come in petal pink, pretty peacock, garden green, and gold. So if you can imagine, I've got petal pink here, and I think these are garden green. So I'm missing any pretty peacock and gold, but I love these gems. And so even though I'd say this is flirty flamingo and this is petal pink, don't think it's a problem. I think that these little gems work very nicely. So we're going to add one there. And then we're going to add one right there. And then one more little one. Did I flip it over? There. There we go. Okay. And there we have it. <laughs> so let's see what's Bonnie is just saying. It's easier to make them than it looks. Yes, 
this, it really, I mean, you guys, yeah, when you're looking at it, it seems complicated. But I think when, hopefully when I broke it down for you, you're like, oh yeah, that was actually really easy. So, so cute, right? You could put a, put a piece of white cardstock on the back here and write a sentiment or something too, if you're worried about that. Or even on the, you could do that on the inside too. That would actually be another spot. You could do it right on the inside there too. So, hi Barb, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Okay, so there's project number one. Um, of our little Valentine's Day cards. If I didn't say that too, kind of getting in the mood, right? It's getting close to middle of February. Got to get your Valentine's Day projects ready. Okay, so here we go. Let's scoop this one out of the way. And I'm going to show you one more cute fun fold right here. Check this one. Yeah, so Linda, I think hopefully I kept it simple enough for you guys so that you'll be able to follow along. So this is another, I mean, it's it's really barely a fun fold, right? But it is, I think it's a fun fold. And again, it features more of the dies. Can you see? So these are the other ones that are, the one is escaped, but you get four of them. There's another one floating around somewhere. It's here somewhere because I need it for this card. There we go. Yeah, so this shape right here is that right there so we're going to use the middle two sizes on that one right there so all right let me oh and actually I have to share because this was a swap that I received that this is how I came up with this card again so there's your regular card base just flip it over and then open it like this and this one was a swap that I received from Mary Ellen Stites beautiful card yes isn't this this is beautiful isn't it bonnie so if you can see i believe again she fussy cut this i love the love you more and even the little bit of sponging in there i think it looks it's like it actually uh, it all goes together so well and then she did if you guys can see right she used one of our flower embossing folders on her circle too so yeah beautiful card uh, but i love the layout too and i was like okay we're making valentine's day cards so we're going to try that on a Valentine's Day card, and I think it worked well for that, too. Okay, so, again, let me get these things out here. I need our red ink. We're going to do a little bit more stamping on this one. Okay, just put those there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this one... We are going to start, if you can imagine, this is... We're going to go this way this time. Okay, so we've got an eight and a half by 11 inch piece. This is basic white cardstock. Uh, I'm looking at your <laughs> your comments. Mimi, hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, that I know that card is just absolutely gorgeous. I think everyone needs that flight and area designer series paper and then all the other stuff that coordinates with it too. So, okay, so again, eight and a half by 11. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then I'm actually gonna flip this, right? So along this um, eight and a half inch side, we scored it at one and a quarter and four and a quarter inches, okay? So it's gonna fold, that's your traditional card, and then we're gonna flip that, flip that flat back. <laughs> Hello, Mimi in Wichita, Kansas. How are you doing out there? Did you guys get lots of snow too? I wonder, we are pretty well snowed in up here in Michigan. Probably, right, it kind of came across the way. Probably everybody got it a bit. Okay, now we are going to, we have two pieces of, did I even show you guys the backside of that other? I don't know, was so excited about um, the fun fold on this, but this is part of that most adore the Celebration Designer Series paper that has the cute um, gold on the back. But yeah, I love those swirls too, right? Okay, so you need two pieces of Designer Series paper. They go on there and on there. These two pieces measure two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then these two pieces of designer series paper go there and there. And then there's the backside, those pretty flowers, more gold foil. This one measures one inch by five and a quarter inches. But again, you need two of each of these. And again, all of these details will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. I think that's it. Then we basically have, we've got some pieces of basic white and real red to do our stamping and die cutting right there. Okay. So as always, we're going to do that first. So let's do our stamping. Okay, so we're going to start with, we've got the Be My Valentine, which actually, let me show you guys. 
That is from the Throughout the Year stamp set. So here's your little Be My Valentine. And then we also on the inside stamped, You Mean So Much to Me. So that's that stamp set right there. Okay, so we're going to start with nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're going to press straight down and lift straight up. So there's my Be My Valentine. Then we are going to stamp our little heart. There's that one right there. And that heart is from this stamp set that we used earlier, the Be My Valentine stamp set. You can see that little. And it's also the wings for um, the bumblebee. You kind of see it when I turn sideways, right? But I think it makes a super cute heart also. So I've been doing that a little bit. Okay, so let's see if I stamp this well. We're going to use our Bee Builder Punch. And, and I did this the last time too, where um, you can see the bottom. I kind of, I didn't stamp up high enough. Maybe if I scoot up a little bit. And actually my bow kind of hit it. So I don't think, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So there we go, we got that one. All right, now we are going to actually, let's do our stamping on the inside. The, you mean so much to me. We're gonna try to do that. We're gonna keep in mind that there's gonna be like a one inch strip actually. You know what? Just to help me out, I'm going to do, I'm gonna put that on right now so then I don't stamp too far over. So now I'm kinda gonna stamp right in the middle of this. So we've got our, you mean so much to me. Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. I was kind of having a problem um, getting like ring around the stamp. <laughs> Good, Linda, I'm glad that you, that I, that I gave you a new idea. Yeah, so what I saw and I'll bring that back in. We're gonna do those cute little hearts because those are from that stamp set also. Um, when I looked at this stamp set, and I don't normally, maybe it was probably in the catalog somewhere, to be honest. That's the little heart that I just stamped, those little bunches. But this I saw, I kind of stamped it over. There was another, oh, actually, let me show you guys. Where is that? Do I have that? Yeah. So this is um, from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. That's what I did with that right there. So that's what I was seeing was stamping the full heart and then those little um, kind of lines over top of it. So that comes from this right here. There's that and that. So that's that's where that idea came from. But like I said, I don't know if I actually saw it or if I saw it in the catalog somewhere. <laughs> it's hard to say. Okay, so I think we're good with this. All right, we're gonna close this up. We did all of our stamping. Good, I'm glad that you love it. I love it too. All right, we're gonna clean things off and then we'll do our die cutting. And then we'll be ready to put this one together too. So again, you can see I have this love of, you know, cute cards that don't have to be super complicated. I think, you know, I'm gonna say medium complicated, not, but, but fairly simple, really. Um, I don't know if I clean those hearts off or not. We're gonna do that one here too. But I think, you know, the cute, the coordinating colors, and um, all the embellishments and things, those make it easy to make cute projects that, again, don't have to be super overly complicated. Okay, so we've got this one and this one, and then we already punched our heart. Yep, okay, so sorry, here I am, like, way up here. So we're just doing these two. Ha, huh, yes, Philomena, that's it. Simple but elevated. Perfect. <laughs> I love that. That's exactly it. How cute. Thank you. That's perfect. A perfect way to describe it. I'm going to have to write that down. That might be my new like little little thing. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Oh, and the stamp sets. Yes, you're welcome, Bonnie. Hopefully you guys get some fun new ideas out of this, right? Okay, so okay, here we go. Here's the other. So if I haven't shown you can you see that? There's that fun label, right? And then the smaller version. I think you can see a little bit better on the white too, right? You can see the stitching a little bit better. Cool, huh? Right? Okay. All right. So I think, yes, yeah, so we're going to finish up our simple but elevated card. Thank you, Philomena. I'm totally digging that. All right. Here, we're going to pull this back into view so you guys can see what we're doing. We're going to add our adhesive. How about this label? Oh my gosh, seriously, isn't that a cool shape? Love it, love it, love it. Okay, um, where did my designer series paper go? 
It's here somewhere. You know what I'm going to show you guys, though? Uh, I'll find it. But I also wanted to show you because I thought about using... <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Philomena. So the everyday details dies. I didn't actually use these, but when I was trying to, you know, kind of come up with what I was going to put on this card, I had stamped that. And then if you can see all the little um, kind of circles. So I thought I would show you guys these. So again, I didn't use them, but I'm going to keep that. That'll be on my craft table. It'll end up somewhere else. But these are those dies. So you can see this is that one right there and then I was kind of checking this out this is actually like a double like I thought maybe it was stuck together but that's gonna make two well maybe they're smaller right I don't know it's funny I haven't done this one yet but they're actually pretty good size holes because those holes look to be the same as size as those so you'd kind of get like a double border with that one right and then a smaller single border yeah these are separate they're like so stuck on there. Yeah, but aren't these cool? So that would make a smaller version of that one. And then how about that little bitty right there, right? And then some more circles. So cool set of dies. Haven't used them yet, but this might be another must have. You'll see this soon. Definitely makes little dots all over the place, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna scoot those. So another time, you'll find that. You'll see that. Might not be a Valentine's Day card, but it'll be coming up soon. Okay, and in the meantime, I did spot my designer series paper, so that is good also. All right, I'm attempting to not use my silicone mat. I think I'm doing all right here. Okay, so we're gonna add our hearts on this little one here. And then again, love, love, love this paper. If you don't have the most adored designer series paper yet, I think that it's a must have, ladies. Okay, free with your $50 order, so why not, All right? Okay, we're gonna put this one right on there. And then, so isn't that cool? That's beautiful on the inside, right? Then we're gonna flip this over. We are going to add this one right here. We're gonna flap that back and then, so bring that back into view. Again, you wanna make sure that you put some dimensionals not too far over on this side. Here they are. Okay, I gotta find the one that I already took the backing off. So we're gonna use that one. So I'm gonna do them kind of right in the middle and I think that'll work for me, okay? All right, so, right, we're gonna do kind of right about there, right? The double puts a single dot on the shape. Oh, 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 and a single dot on the negative space, okay. Ooh, all right. So Sharon, if you have a project that you've made using that, I would love for you to share it because I'm still kind of trying to visualize what you're saying, <laughs> what you mean on the negative. So maybe it, it's like the, um, oh, what do I want to say? I'm trying to make sure that I didn't put that. I feel like that's, mm, is that going to be, we're going to scoot that. We're going to actually put it right right there there we go sorry i'm getting like sidetracked because i don't want to you need to be able to you know make sure you open this so if you get a bunch of adhesive on these things here it'll stick down there and you won't be able to open it so don't do that hey susie how are you okay um all right we're gonna use some of this is the petal pink this is like a combo pack of ribbon i'm trying to remember it's this petal pink like really dainty little stripe i think it looks totally like you would put on a like on a baby girl present or card or something but i love it i think it's perfect for ah yes around the hole that's left after you cut out this oh we're talking about the circles okay i gotcha i gotcha cool yeah those are going to be fun to play with all right so we're making our bow we are going to find a little mini glue dot there okay and we're gonna strategically place that bow so that it covers up <laughs> that part of my heart that I didn't, you know, the bottom of. I could have always punched it again, but you know. Okay, actually, I'm trying to make these even. There, I think that's it right there, okay? That out of the way. And then we're gonna use, these are what we're giving away on our next Facebook Live. If you share this video, if you sign up for my email list, if you post a picture of a project that you've made, or if you comment on whatever random post I pick 
on this Facebook group. Your name will go in the drawing to win. So again, these are the adhesive backed hearts and flowers. This is what we're going to give away. So you can see them kind of um, in person. So we're going to put one heart there. We are going to, uh, 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 we're going to put one heart there. Or yes, these are flowers, not hearts. And then we're going to put one of the pink hearts right there. Okay. So what do you guys think? Aren't these cards? I had so much fun thinking about and making Valentine's Day cards this year. Uh, where's the other one? Right here, right here. We've got that one and that one. Okay. So quick recap, as always, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, I want to make sure you know this. You can get both of these projects as a thank you from me when you put your online order in using this host code right here. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win. This is the Meandering Meadows Designer Series paper. Absolutely beautiful paper. You also get to pick from, actually, this month's free embellishment are the Purple Gems or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial that featured that other Valentine's Day card that I made right here. This is my project that's in the February, excuse me, the January Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So you can pick from either one of these also. So, so many goodies as a thank you from me. I truly appreciate your orders. And I love you guys that were great participators today. So thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you enjoyed the cards. It was great to be here with you guys, all of you. All right, so we'll actually see you right here next Friday, two weeks in a row. Can you believe it? All right, we'll see you next Friday. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Have a great weekend and stay warm.